at the sun we see an aspect which is projection that is its main goal to project we look at the moon what we see is a reactive so imagine yourself medita meditating your focus would be upon the sun the sun is projecting the moon is reactive so your sun will be focused meaning your mind will be focused upon the desired willpower that you want to express but the moon will be reactive meaning that it will react to every point of where the sun wants to project itself so what tends to happen is the projection will be reacted by the, the reactor so the reactor has to be controlled by the projector in order for the projector to evolve so this, this is how it works when we look at astrology in terms of the moon and the sun the sun is so important and the moon is so important they're both importantly equal to one another of how they operate in system so the system of the moon is knowing the reactive side so the sun is so important because the sun has to go into the moon to solve the problem of the moon to now evolve into itself and then allow meditation to be singular the point of singularity is basically the point of balancing the moon and the sun you see in hermetic astrology like I was saying earlier we talk about the soul mirrors the soul mirrors are the labels that you would write everything that is projective on a on a uh, so like um, whatever sign your, um, your 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 sun sign is would be the element of your projection your element of your projection if you're an earth sign you'll be a Capricorn Taurus if you're a, a, a fire sign you'll be an Aries Leo if you're a water sign you'll be a Cancer Scorpio you know and so forth so um, this is how it works so then we have to we look at the elementals when we look at um, the soul mirrors we look at the elementals that is ruling our solar planet our sun planet and then we write down all these elements okay now it's very important in knowing this because then you know where how to balance your signs together so you write down all the the the, the elements the element linked to that sign solar then you would write the moon the moon you would write down all the elements linked to that sign of the moon so for the moon it would be the same thing whether the moon, moon is in Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Libra, you write down the element of that, of that sign. And then when you get the element of both signs, then you write down the negative and positive aspects of each. And then from there, you balance, you balance the, um, the elements. You balance the elements together. So you interlink both of them together to know where it went wrong and how it went wrong now before you can even begin doing this we have to also look at other planets I will be going into that in the future lectures and um, the, the course of like the hermetic side but what what that does when you uh, balance the, um, the mirrors the soul mirrors you're actually interacting with with rhythm now I've been talking about rhythm quite a lot because you interact with rhythm and then rhythm is how you stop the pendulum swinging you stop the pendulum swinging in the Kabbalion the Kabbalion has nothing to do with the Kabbalah in itself the Kabbalion is how the, 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 the laws of the universe work just to you know to confirm with some people who might be a bit lost now so then you balance the soul mirrors that once you balance the soul mirrors then you know what you're doing you know how to polarize yourself so it's very important to know your planets and write down the uh, the aspects of 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 the, uh, the the planets and how they express themselves in in the sign that they are in so each planet 
um, interacts with one another just to you know, I don't want to jump off the subject but each planet interacts with one another this Saturn will interact with Uranus um, you have the Sun will obviously interact with the moon Jupiter would interact with Saturn I will get into that um, in the future lectures um, you will get different planets would interact with each other and these are the the balance the negative and polarity um, so when we're talking about polarity in the Kabbalion or the Hermetic uh, Astrology there is polarity and polarity is in each planet and every planet has a polarity so we look at every planet has a polarity key one key two every planet has a pl planetary um, opposition planet which is in relation to its polarity every planet has also its own polarity meaning positive and negative for that singular planet all right and um, so we now know that so once we identify that then we then analyze that polarity which is in angular relationship to the other planet okay to your to your soul mirror so you're able to identify which positive aspect or negative aspect of yourself that you inhibit so you're able to play about with the, the energies and know where the movements is going on so you can always balance yourself and uh, the key to the key to the the whole concept of, um, of 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 hermetic astrology is actually to balance yourself so balancing yourself is so important because this is where we are we are going wrong in the pattern of a um, cosmic relation because we are not balanced and then what happens is the gods or the planets tend, tend to take advantage of you because you're not balancing the, 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 the planets inside you and in relation to the elements, the elements are out of balance and um, a lot of people do rituals for example and um, what, happens, what happens a lot of time uh, the planetary energy takes tends to take control over them if they don't give them a certain thing now this is because they are imbalanced in um, in um, in hermetic we look at um, um, the first tarot card um, and the first tarot card is the magician the magician is, is is the aspect of us which we have to master right um, in tarot there is obviously um, the major cards and the other cards. Now the major cards are all the tarots that we must master. There's 22 we must master and obviously um, there is only a few in this planet now that has able to master the magician aspect of the self and the magician aspect of the self is obviously the first tarot and obviously it means mastering all four elements.